My name is Patty Cooney. I live at 5 Canterbury Path in Carver with my family. Carver Concerned Citizens asks you to vote yes on Article 43. This is the article in the warrant on this slide. The purpose is to make sure land used for sand and gravel mining is paying its fair share of real estate taxes. The real estate tax process this article addresses is called Chapter 61A, a state law. Under this law, a landowner can ask the town to assess their land as agriculture to get lower real estate taxes. The landowner submits an application for Chapter 61A to the town assessor and says, I'm going to use my land for agriculture and not develop it or make big profits, so I am entitled to lower my real estate taxes. The tax assessor bases the real estate taxes on use of land for agriculture, not higher fair market value for development or an industrial use like sand mining. The land must be used primarily for agriculture. Example, if you own five acres and not in agriculture, you pay $1,000 in taxes. If you claim agriculture, you pay only a few dollars. Some landowners have cranberry bogs on their property and operate sand and gravel mines on other parts of the land for years and claim Chapter 61A. For example, AD Makepeace submits applications for Chapter 61A every year for land that has sand mining and cranberries. Makepeace sells the sand and gravel through its company, Reed Custom Soils, making money selling sand, which is way more profitable than cranberries, $56 million. Alex Johnson Cranberry Mackey mining site on Meadow Street. They have been mining for 10 years for about $5 million in sand and gravel. Taxes are only $89 quarterly because they claim it is a cranberry farming. Johnson Brothers Cranberry, Franklin Marsh Cranberry on Plymouth Street. This is about $9 million in sand and gravel. The Office of Inspector General is investigating sand and gravel mining in Carver. The office investigates waste, fraud, and abuse of taxpayer money and property. It went to Town Hall on March 23, 2023 to get records from the Earth Removal Committee. We, the people of Carver, need to take action too. Vote yes for an audit. Make sure Carver is collecting all its taxes. Thank you.